My name is Dan Murray. I'm from the south end of uh, King County. I have a five-year-old daughter. Her name is Delilah. She's uh, very energetic, um, very creative. Okay. She hesitates when I take her to school. You know, she doesn't want me to leave. CPS having her in foster care has affected her. When you get CPS in your life and they take your kids, you're gonna go through a moment and you're, it's gonna affect you, but you've gotta get through it. You do, because your kid is waiting for you. My name is Lynette Todd. I live in Des Moines, Washington. My son, Marcellus, he was taken away from me. I didn't know if I would be able to get him back. My name is Deborah Brownlee. I am a public defender in King County. After a child is removed from the parent's care, the parent has a right to a hearing before a judge within 72 hours. That does not include weekends or holidays, so it could be longer depending on when the child was removed. When it's fresh and it's 72 hours and your child has just been taken away, I was irate, I was indignant, I felt like I felt wronged. It's very emotional. It's very emotional. It's very important for parents to stay calm, and it's very difficult for parents to stay calm. But you need to remember that whatever you say to whoever can come up in court can be used against you. At the hearing, it might be determined that the child is returned to the parent, or they may be placed with someone else. So the parents, if possible, before the 72-hour hearing, should contact all of the people, relatives, family, friends, who uh, they would like their child to stay with if their child can't stay with them. It's best if they can attend the hearing in person or if that's not possible by phone. Parents have a right to an attorney at that hearing so they will get legal advice. It's critical to show up at court. You will have an attorney there to represent you, but they can't tell the court what you want. They can't advocate for what you want if you're not there to communicate with your attorney. My public defender, and this is the reason why I got my son back, she didn't give up on me, and she directed me, and she fought for me. After the emergency 72-hour hearing, there will probably be more work to do, so be sure to stay in touch with your lawyer even after that hearing. It's a difficult process, and there are a lot of people involved in the process, and a parent's attorney is their bridge to every other person involved in the process, especially when things get difficult. My attorney did more than just represent me in the courtroom. She more coached me and, to, and motivated me to do what I needed to do. It's basically giving them a message of hope that no matter what your situation is, you're just as eligible as anyone else to get your child back. The best case scenario and the most likely outcome is that a child is gonna be returned back to the home, back to his or her parents. Don't lose hope. I have had her back for a year and five months. I want to be the one that wakes her up in the morning. I want to be the one that comforts her when she falls down. I want to be the one that supplies her with that prom dress. I want to be the one that walks her down the aisle. And I just want to be there to see those moments. Marcellus was returned at five months and three weeks. He's a very bright person. He's very intellectual, he speaks well, he reads well, he's a good person. I am no longer dealing with CPS. My child is home and... What? you push me? Yeah, and I gotta push her real quick. If your child is in the process of being removed on an emergency basis, Call the King County Department of Public Defense at 206-477-8899. During business hours, please call our main office at 206-296-7662. Or for more information, visit the Family and Safety page at WashingtonLawHelp.org.